Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast. Yes, it is. The authority of all things hmm. R&B. You forgot the duck. You forgot the duck. You got to move. You can't throw <laughs> yeah, it and just stay there and wait on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a head mover. Uh, in the building. Yeah. Um, you know, some people are gifted. Many are called, but the chosen are few. Come on, preacher. We've we've watched this young man grow from just small little bud, small little seed. Yeah. Through the wire. Through the wire. Yeah. Small little bud, small little seed. Into the biggest superstar in the world. <laughs> Our friend in the building. Yeah. He hoops okay. His hoop game, we, we, we're still working on his hoop game, but <laughs> but he's still a good friend. Make some noise. Michael B. Jordan in the building. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> brethren, brethren. What's going on? Finally. This nigga brought oranges. He brought oranges. It's a cutie. Or a Relax. orange. What is it? It's a cutie. A cutie. It's a cutie. Yeah. It's a tangerine. It's one, it's too. It's one. He did not bring well, to well, share. Well, I mean, I ate the rest of them on the ride right over here. He's a solo artist. God damn. You understand But that? a team player. He's a solo artist. It's crazy. Like, we see Frank, but he ain't got no cutie. At all. Frank ugly. Frank so, may well, not eat these. Well, <laughs> Frank is all beard. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's his whole oh, attraction. He didn't think he was going to catch no stray. He thought he wasn't going to catch no stray. Who said he don't have a cutie in there? Who said he doesn't have a cutie in there? He thought he wasn't going to catch no stray. Mike B., thank you, my brother. Thank you for joining us, man. I know yeah, you no. are um, you are on a whirlwind um, of a tour, mm. um, and life is just been really good yes it has um from the inside looking in from the outside looking in and um as we've known you for so long mm -hmm. um you deserve it thank you man you deserve it appreciate it you work hard mm -hmm. you got the gift and you're only getting better which is very scary mm. very scary that boy directing now no no listen yeah listen yeah you gonna, cool you, 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 you gonna eat Not everything cool on the table shit. I mean, there's some things on the table I didn't even see yet. So I got, I got, I got, you know, I'm at this part of the table, but there's, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of, a lot more table to go through. So let's, let's do a, let's, let's do kind of a fast track. Let's do. We it. don't want to keep you long, but we want to get to some information. Let's do a fast track. Let's do it. Let's start at, let's start at that first phone call. Okay. After, after, after the magical audition, and someone says, "You got the part." Which part? Which one? The first one. Was The Wire the first major Wire, role for you? Wire wasn't the first one. Hardball was probably the first Hardball. major, yeah, major yeah, yeah, role yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. uh, when Stilo was, was, yeah. was Stilo was G-Baby. Frank, when Stilo was G-Baby. He was Stilo was what? He's G-Baby. Man, he was Sterling getting, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting yeah. caught with straight bullets. Everybody, too, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. getting caught with straight bullets. I told him when he was here, he was G-Baby. He's <clears> still <throat> trying to prove he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would say, you know, The Wire, the wire no, I'm sorry, Hardball was probably the first one that really had me travel, you know, part of an ensemble cast, you know, per diem, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know, it was real. You know, it, it was real, you know, like, like you know, just the whole production of like making a feature film, that was like my first kind of introduction to like the game on that level. So yeah. working with, you know, Keanu Reeves and Diane Lane, you know, just, um, it was it was one of those projects. At the time he was shooting The Matrix, so we didn't even know what that was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? So it was. Oh, he hadn't shot the matrix yet. I think he was in the process, in the process. of shooting it. Right, yeah, right, that's when we, right. met, we met Lawrence Fishburne. He took us out to dinner one time, all the kids and stuff like that. We met Lawrence Fishburne and stuff like that. So did you call him Larry? Larry, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't call him Larry. Whatever, Uncle Larry. I'm like, what? Tell right. him, my, my Tell brother Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> yeah. Cameron yeah. called him Larry. Larry. We'll, we'll, we'll post that. No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, but 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 no. I think that was the first. That was the first kind of like you know, okay, I can. I think I could do this. This is this is cool. I'm, I'm I'm more curious about the industry. You know, understanding a little bit of the the fundamentals of what acting is. Before mm -hmm. that, it was just kind of like just showing up, reading the lines, and you know, and yeah. trying not to you know fuck up. Right. But right. that one was the first time I think I've kind of teetered into the realm of like a character and like mm -hmm. how to like you know act, so to speak. So mm -hmm. yeah. So are you in school at this time? I'm in school. 
you know what I'm saying, getting home, like uh, tutor, you know what I'm saying. So I'm skipping a lot of days of school, but at the same time, you know, there's a there's a on set teacher that mm-hmm. you have to put in a certain amount of hours in that you know us and the rest of the kids we you know do a couple hours of school and then and then get back to to work. So when does school change? When is it? Do like? you go back after yeah. hardball? To like regular to regular school. Went back to hardball, regular school, uh, and at that point, you know, you're still on the acting tip. You know, what I mean, you're still hustling, you're still trying Are to go to auditions and stuff school, like though? that. I'm like not a star at school. I mean, I'm Hollywood. You know, what I'm saying, yeah, I think everybody that's trying to do something in the entertainment industry in like middle school, high school becomes Hollywood, no matter what. Like that's your nickname. Uh, They're not really that creative outside of that. It's, it's like Hollywood is yeah. like what it is. So like that was the. That so it went like event. a cheer, like, yay, it's like, look this Hollywood. Nobody understood it. I mean, how, how could you? Right. You know, you're doing something that's so against the norm. And of where like is this? What, where are you? This is Newark. Newark. Yeah, okay. this is Newark, New Jersey. So Newark, New Jersey, doing that. Uh, that's you Brick know. City, yeah? Yeah, Brick City. Newark? That's yeah, Brick City. That's Brick City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, so I, I'm sure that's tough. You're from Brick City and you, you're going to do movies and shit. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's just, and it's not normal. It's not. So how do they process it? I mean, it ain't for nobody to really process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for me, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was, uh, you know, leaving school early, going to auditions, missing days of school. You know, you might see a, you know, a Models ad in the Sunday paper or a Toys R Us ad or, you know, a little Frito, what does the Doritos, uh, you know, value pack with the little, like, you know, points on the back of it. You were collecting, like, buy something off the, you know, out of the book yeah. or shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like a little kid in that, you know, shit like that that I was doing. And then, you know, then the wire kicked in. And all my children. Yeah. And then it was, you know. Nick, you yeah. was on the story? It was, yeah, it was on the story, brother. The stories, man. Yeah. You didn't know that. I did so know that. Yeah. I know Nick, something probably, you don't know. She's yeah. probably watching the stories, nigga. No, my mama watched yeah, the stories. Say, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> it. Mama, grandmama had the stories yeah. on lock. That's what it was. So, like, all my children was definitely where I kind of, like, learned, like, the work ethic of acting. Like, the actual. Yeah, because yeah. they locked in. Yeah, I mean, you do like a hundred, you know, an episode and a half a day, a hundred plus pages a day. God. You know what I'm saying? They crank hundred plus. Yeah, they're right. cranking them things right. out yeah. daily. Yeah, yeah, Tyler Perry before Tyler Perry. What? I mean, the soaps is a machine. Yeah, I mean, there is no like, you know, you rarely get a multiple takes. So it's like, if you didn't, if, if you ain't study, if you ain't know your shit, the next day it will be on air and people will be watching you fuck up. So like That's you only crazy. need one or two of those. So you like, nope, yeah. no, no, shit. Yeah, no, no, I'm gonna be, I'm be prepared. I'm gonna know my shit better than anybody. So like that was kind of like, yeah, how that. And went. when and when did that? Did you move to LA to do the stories, or were you still? I was New York. So New like York. so I, after I finished the soap operas, that's when I moved. I, once I wasn't going to uh, college, I was like, all right, I'm not going to school. I'm gonna move to LA. I'm gonna keep pursuing this thing, okay. and, and so so right after I finished my my run on the stories, I up and moved to uh, to L. A. That's, that's what, what, that's what we met you. Y'all scoundrels. Yeah. <laughs> y'all scoundrels, right, hey, right around that time. Hey, man. Where's yeah. Nice guys? I remember you from those days. For the most part. Yeah. Boy, and call. what was that transition like for you? Coming from Newark, coming to L.A., and maybe the chase is different. Maybe the, you know, the process is different just now being in Hollywood versus being in that space in Newark. I feel like the grind was like, it, it, I had a work ethic and developed a work ethic from like being on the East Coast. It mm-hmm. was just a certain mm-hmm. like level of like grit and like just wanting to go get it that really kept me locked in out here in LA. And then seeing the pace of LA is a little bit different than it is, not a little bit, it's a lot different yeah. than it is on the East Coast. So just, yeah, just the, you know, just being hungry, willing, willing to like, you know, lock in, sacrifice. You know, the only thing I did was hoop and audition. That was it. We rarely went out, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, besides when me and Sterling was promoting. You hooped? What do you mean? Ely. Come on. Yeah, no, man. I heard him Don't say it. Again, I'm just asking. Listen, if, listen, hey, listen. Y'all know. If he, y'all, you know, if you hoop, know. Who, if you hoop, hoop. Yeah, you know too. Because, I mean, I know y'all, I know you and I have, we got championships. Oh, my Lord. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have one. See, he never, he never see, won. Y'all, see, y'all were playing a political game a lot longer than me. So you had already knew that you had the politic with Shane. You had to do this and that. You got the little stacked team and play with your friends. I was just happy to get to me. I was just lucky to get on the squad. This is the uh, first time I heard that. Yeah. Our, never, team, our team was that? Yeah. I mean, I you had so. team chemistry. Y'all played with who y'all wanted to play with. I got. I got my homie. And then everybody else. Yeah, and you I just. Had your I, got, I got placed you, on the team. You had your homie. You had your homie. Who was my homie? Stilo. Stilo. He did, you know how long it took for him to get in the league? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Stilo was probably taking me years. For years. And when he finally <laughs> got in, he shot for all the seasons he wasn't in. Oh, y'all didn't let me in? Oh, you let me in? 
40 shots. 40 shots. shots. <laughs> so yeah, I scored 35. You shot 80 times. You, see, bro? you know y'all lost, right? Hey, you man, lost. I ain't gonna let y'all get down on my boy like that, man. Yeah, maybe maybe 50 times. Maybe shot, maybe shot 50, not 80. Because I, I got a championship with my first team. So you're right about the politic, though, because... Well, my first team we won, and Who's then I, you I finally got it's me, Jamie Foxx. Okay, yes, Corey, that was on the Kings. Corey Hardrick, you know, we Kings. Were the Spurs. Okay, we were the King. I was on the Kings at okay. one point. Okay, Corey Hardrick, uh, Broderick. Broderick, fucking Broderick. Oh hey, Broderick man, y'all, yeah, yeah, come on. No, no, Bro- I wasn't never on team with Broderick. I Ken- never. Kenneth I, yeah, Career yeah, yeah. was on my team. Yeah. Uh, this uh, is at the time. This Paul, is the- Marcus Polk, uh-huh. Charlie Burrell, and Breon. Oh yeah, the sub team. Oh, we had yeah, a team. Yeah, and then team. when I finally got Jay in, they put him on an island and he was taking 40 shots. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 22. About 22. 22. Yeah. Yeah. Small set. Yeah. Small set. He was averaging 32. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Easy. Easy. Get that thing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, For sure. No, but that was, that was the beginning of really all of our relationships yeah. yep. through the yep. entertainment league. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Where we really built our bond with each other and everybody started to just get, eno- get to know each other because there were there were people in the league that it was just like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Dude talented, but I don't really fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? And that's yeah, just yeah. life. And that, you know what I mean? And, it, and, and an interesting thing, I felt like the E-League kind of brought that concept of how if you do make it to one of the professional leagues, mm-hmm. you're dealing with multiple people and multiple personalities because what we do is very singular. Like mm-hmm. even with you, you go to your trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we found we found out that okay, now we're in a locker room with each other. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to e-league parties. Now it's mm-hmm. like damn near sanctioned things. Mm-hmm. They, they taking all-star teams to different cities. And guys are participating in that. And you start realizing like, yo, who's a real person? Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, I, I remember when we first really got cool, and and um, it was something. It might have been an e league event, and you was like, "Man, just come pick me up." <laughs> and I'm like, "All right, shit." <laughs> then I found out this nigga was living far as hell at the time. Like, God damn, man, way out in the valley. Let's go pick this nigga. All right, that's a little bro. Go pick him up. And but just building those relationships and finding people within this industry, man. Shout out to Shane. Shout out to yeah, Shane because absolutely. Shane put something absolutely. together that yeah. really connected a lot of us that we've kept going. And then even, you know, me creating with Tank the R&B Money Run yep. for years. Yep. That now mm-hmm. it's like, you know, I had to like calm it down because it started going viral. Nigga, I'm like, nigga, <laughs> take the damn, put your phone up, bro. Right. Like, right. Tired of these phone calls <laughs> mm-hmm. that, you know, you were a part of. And Chris Brown and pulled up and, you know, the Brim Brothers and and Jamie Foxx. And, and, but somewhere mm-hmm. safe that, you know, I mean, we, we're not going to get some fool that just want to hack us. Exactly. Because that, you know. Because we do other stuff. Yeah. Because we have something to do yeah, after. Yeah. Is what you I'm always I mean? trying to tell it's, Jay it's, Valentine. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> I do other things. Yes. Yeah. Besides who? He knows yes. I have shows on the weekend. <laughs> yes. Right? But on the fast break, he wants to hack my wrist. <laughs> he wants to hack my fingers. These the are the money the makers. Hands part of the ball. This is, hands are not part of the ball <laughs> when it's your client. <laughs> you manage me. You, you manage, manage me. You know how many times I quit? Hey, it was game point. I can only imagine. Hey, Mike. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you, was, <laughs> you wasn't getting a shot up. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, out of this basketball place, nobody plays better than me. Um, oh, my Lord. I can't wait to that's get That's where the ball was built. Did, yeah. did you ever feel any downtime or, or, or any lag or see yourself in a space where you were at a crossroad and trying to really figure things out to get to that next level? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I would say... The summer, maybe before I booked Red Tails, I would say was probably one of the the crossroads for me of like, all right, this is the last rent check I got. I done Mm. overdrafted everything I could overdraft and borrow money from every aunt I could think of. Yeah. This doesn't work out this month. I'm heading back to Jersey and, you know, we, we gonna figure it out. We gonna, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we gonna, we gonna figure it out. Um, and then audition for it, booked it, that found out that Thanksgiving that, that I had got the role. And that was like the first time that I had enough money that I could actually stack. I was like, okay, cool. I could pay off everything I need to pay off. This Still gives put me, something up. Mm. put a little bit of something up. I can stay out here for another six months, you know what I'm saying? Et cetera, et cetera. And then literally the, the jobs just kept, I kept booking from there. It was just kind of like that kind of opened up the floodgates for me. And then it just kind of continued from that moment. So I would say like when I moved out here, you know, I was still booking, 
like little episodics, you know what I'm saying? Guest starring roles on, you know, CSI or Law and Order or whatever it was that was cool. But I was getting to know the town. I was getting to know yeah. casting directors. I was getting to know like, you know, the players that are in the that are that are in the the you know the entertainment world. And also, you know, the executives and the casting directors loved the shows that I was doing. So, like, it was the work that I was doing that they would see that either if they didn't like it, their wife loved it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it was like, oh, my God, my husband loves you. Oh, my God, my wife loves you. Like, let's come in. So, like, it was like this invested interest of, like, you know, certain people in the town to kind of keep me booked and busy, I guess, a little bit. So, that that was that was a... That was a good run. But, you know, I would say that for, when I first moved out, it was, like, still booking jobs, but still dead broke. So, like, yeah, you were like, oh, yo, that's what's the name from The Wire. But I'm like, yeah, but I'm, me and Sterling's applying at Jack in the Box. Right. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? And, like, no, y'all overqualified. Like, it was a moment where it was like, yeah, we were going to fast food spots um, trying to, you know, apply for jobs. And it was, like, one of those moments sitting in the car before we went there. It was like, yo, we about to do this shit? Are we about to fucking apply for a goddamn fast food right now? And these niggas gonna know who I am, so it's not like oh, right. it's just like a random person. That's it's like nah, that's the tough spot. I was willing to take the L, you know what I'm saying, and like and deal with the. You look familiar, and are you the? You know what I'm saying, yeah. just to kind of like definitely was gonna get that with a number eight. What? Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> he, he didn't even know that he could have just called me out and gave him a quarter ounce of lie. You know? <laughs> got him back on his feet. He didn't even realize that. I, I, you know what I mean? I Bro. am from the Bay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's gonna make sure my guy was all right. Hey, man. Hey, Wallace. Hey, Wallace. (laughs) I know, I know you, man. <laughs> nah, nah, I get nah. that all the time. <laughs> I look Take like your shit. Get up. <laughs> Take your food and keep it pushing. <laughs> um, the, the fast food. I, yeah. Listen, I remember being in Rancho Cucamonga. Okay. After the money, when the money was low. Okay. And I was, I had a, I had a, a rented Lincoln Town car mm-hmm. that I was hiding from the rental company. Okay. Um, <laughs> The story is okay. It was, it was taking, to, yeah, it was I took okay. off because I had, you know, they had a two bedroom that mm-hmm. was only like thirteen hundred. Okay, so I took off the rancho, <laughs> yeah. got in there. Yeah, that's probably right. I, you, you picked me up around that area. Yeah, yeah so we were deep. A different type of rancho. <laughs> and I'm looking at this Best Buy like I could pack boxes here. I could I could stack some boxes. Right, because if you go do the, the like the overnight, the overnight shift, shift, they not gonna see they not gonna you. see me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. And niggas be trying to figure it out though. But well, hanging out with Jamie Foxx, right? And it looking like, mm-hmm. yeah, everything was together. When I'm at the party and I'm right next to him, like, yeah, yeah. and the elbows is rubbing. It's like, oh, okay, they doing it. And yeah. Then I drive that that Lincoln. town car back Woo. to back to Rancho. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The, yeah. That rubber really meets the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in trying yeah. to figure out what that next move That's is. That's the entertainment business in a nutshell. Yeah, because it's it's about staying the course. Mm-hmm. It's about staying out here or wherever that is that that's, that you're close to the work. That will one day you'll wake up and you'll yep. get that phone call yep. that it changes for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I remember having a conversation with you. And you're like, I gotta go to the bay. Mm. I was like, What you doing to the bay? Mm-hmm. And he was like, It's a movie out there. He was like, It's an indie movie. And the crazy thing is, you know our relationship and my relationship with um with with our fellow brother, mm-hmm. Tristan Wilds. Mm-hmm. He also was supposed to be a part of that movie. Mm-hmm. He got sick mm-hmm. when he was doing um, 90210. Mm-hmm. And I remember you called me and you were like, bro, this this movie is is, is special. And at first you didn't tell me what it's about. You just yeah. like, you just, you know, and then I never forget this. You said, you should come up here. I was like, why? <laughs> and he was like, Nah, nigga, because you from the Bay. I'm telling you, you could just play one of the parts. And I was like, nigga, I'm not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not an actor. I knew you were setting me up, though. I was like, he's nah. setting me up. He about to try to figure out before I could say bruh two or three times in the movie. And I'm like, nah, I'm cool. I mean, you told, he was like, um, he finally told me what the, what the movie's about with yep. Oscar Grant. Yep. And I was like, oh, shit, I knew about the whole thing. I was like, this is about to, this is about to be different. This is going to be different. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is my cousin at the time was going to college, or before before that, with Ryan mm-hmm. at SC. Yep. yep. My cousin was the number one linebacker in the nation at the time. He go to SC, him and Ryan, both from Oakland. They link, and he, he already telling me about him. And mm-hmm. then you like, hey man, this, this young director, yep. he out mm-hmm. the bay, he got this great idea. 
And man, what you did with that movie, mm -hmm. it represented us so well. Yeah. With you not being from the Bay. Mm -hmm. Like, just not aside from us all being black men, but just the Bay Area, we have a very, like, it's a cold. It's a particular this, this, way this of living. This island that we live you know on out saying? there, yeah. right? That it's just so different from the rest of the West Coast, but the rest of the world. We mm -hmm. got our own language. We got our own the way we dress. It's just we live in our own world. Tank can tell you go up there. He'd be like, "I enjoy myself. <laughs> I, I love it every time I go." But, but it, yeah. but it, but it is different. It. So to capture that in the way you captured it, bro, I don't even know if I've ever even told you that over all these years, like. You really made me proud as just a friend. Oh man. Because Appreciate I didn't that. see my friend anymore. Yeah. Mm. That's big. And that's a, a huge part. You know that with acting. It's a big for us. Yeah. I did not see yeah. Mike. You know what I mean? Like I saw you playing Oscar. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, he he did this such a, a great service. No, I appreciate that. So man. thank you from us. No. Nah, from the career, bro. Hey, no. Thanks all mine. I mean, just be able to like embody that that character and that, you know, that moment in time. You know, me, I was real pissed off around that time, just in general. Just like it was a lot, you know, shootings going on. Trayvon Martin just got shot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of shit going on in the world. And, like, that was an outlet for me to kind of express myself the way I could, which is through the work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and say something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, so you know, meeting Ryan and, you know, going through all the steps of moving up there and living and standing, you know, I, you know. Just, you know, in close proximity to, to, you know, Oscar's friends and family, you know, people that, you know, I, got, I, had, to, I had to get to know him through the people that knew him the best, yeah. you know? And that was my first time really doing like a, like a real deep dive like that, you know, mm -hmm. as far as doing like a real, the real homework, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And like, and, and, and so, so for me, it was doing a bunch of things. I got a chance to say something. I got a chance to prove that I could carry a film, yeah. you know, but then also I represent, you know, so many other you know, Trayvon Martins and Oscar Grants throughout the world, you know what yeah. I'm saying, that that don't get their stories told, you know what I'm saying, that doesn't get an opportunity to, you know, to to get justice, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so yeah, that movie meant a lot, checked a lot of boxes for me. Yeah, man. Awesome. And it was, yeah. <clears throat> I want to get to the... Where you going? You know, I want to get to the, I want to get to the blockbuster that's happening right now, but I just want to ask you one question before we get to the, you know, to the series of of amazing, this amazing body of work that you got. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Cause we see, like we we've, we've been in Hollywood for quite some time, and, mm -hmm. and we kind of understand the the overtones and and then the undertones of how this thing kind of moves and shakes. And and the question I wanted to ask you is like, why do you think it's you? Out of all the people you've come up with, and out of all the people you know you've worked with that you know put in the work and who are talented and you are amazingly talented, amazing work ethic. What is the special quality about Michael B. Jordan that sets him apart from everybody else? I mean, that's tough. Only because we're men of faith mm -hmm. and understanding, you know, that it's above us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like our blessings, we're, we're blessed, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And highly favored, you know? Mm -hmm. So we know spirituality, God has a lot to do with mm -hmm. us and mm -hmm. the success and the blessings that we have and just and just the avoidance of bullshit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That could knock us off our path because yeah. that's equally as important. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Family, prayer circles, people that we're shielded. Mm -hmm. So there's that, that, that goes there. Um... I mean, that was a little bit what this movie was about for me, you know, trying to figure out, like, you know, put having that conversation, you know, kind of exercising my way through, you know, why me, you know? And, and I think a part of it is chosen, mm -hmm. you know, for mm -hmm. certain things. And, and then also my ability, to, I think, maybe to, to, I don't know, process information, think, put things together, you know, build shit, you know, I... I um, my gut, my intuition, you mm -hmm. know, I, I listen to that shit all the time, you know, mm -hmm. um, being able to read people, you know, hear the, hear the note behind the note, you know, what is it, what is, what is the real intent behind things, you mm -hmm. know, being able to kind of like dissect that all the time, um, which is a lot, yeah. but at the same time, it's my norm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, I, you know, and then like you said, the work ethic, you know, it's a combination. It's a, it's a bunch of different things. I don't think it's like the one thing that, that makes it makes it different. I think it's just a, a combination of just 
um, particular point of views and approaches and uh, disciplines that that equal, you know, the ability to like, you know, do what I do, you know, um, that's the. I want to accept all of that, right? Because all of that is very much true. Uh -huh. But I feel like you're you're part of a bigger universal message. It's empathy, bro. I think it's empathy. Being able to like, I, I feel, I'm an empath. You know what but, I'm saying? But once you feel and you understand mm -hmm. what it is, you can give people what they need. Well, that too. All of that is you amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You are proof that good people win. Hmm. That being a I good person. I would agree person, with that. I would agree with that. Being an amazing human being. Because there's always this quote of, good guys always finish last. That's not true. I agree. And you are giving good people. An example. An example. Mm -hmm. You can do it the right way. You cannot be part of that and part of that and these other things. You can do it the right way. You can be raised right. You can talk right. You can act right. You can walk right. You can do your best. Yeah, mm. I met your mom and daddy. You understand? You know, what I'm you know him well. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know my yeah. family. Good you, know you, you from you from good stock, bro. Like you come from good things, and and what he's saying is absolutely right. You're an example of that, bro. Yep. And we're here to tell you that. Yep. Fuck all the rest of this shit. Yeah. You have been consistently you from the day I met you. For, and I had no idea you was going in and looking at, at uh, Jack in the Box application. Yeah. Because that yeah. didn't matter to me. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. the homie. Like, yeah. I'd I never get caught up in none of that. Yeah. My friends are my friends. Mm. But now we all know what this life has done for you mm -hmm. and the position that it's put you in. Mm. And you are the same exact person. Appreciate that. You are man. the same exact person. If, like, listen, at the, at the premiere, if we catch eyes, yeah. nigga. It's expected. Yeah. I don't I don't care who in this building. Yeah, nigga, yeah, we gonna yeah, say what's yeah, up, we yeah, gonna yeah. hug out, we're gonna tell each other yeah. we love each other, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you, and congratulations. Mm -hmm. And this is what it's supposed to be when it's a real brotherhood. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This ain't about nothing else. And we gotta stop telling people that it's about, oh, he ain't checked in with me, he ain't called me. And mm. man, we got lives and we busy. This is moving. Mm -hmm. But when we when we catch the we catch these eyes and I see my brother. Pick up where we left off. One, no time. Pick up where lost. we left Ever. off, bro. So you know. Ever. Toast to you for that. Bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate you know, that. Yeah, in man. a real way. Now I, said, I was trying to figure out if he was trying to ask yeah. why you wasn't Killmonger, and he was. That's that's. I thought you was going there, but you didn't go there. You didn't go there. No, I was. <laughs> was that a question? <laughs> no. Were you curious? No. No. no you he, don't want to be Killmonger. No, he killed Killmonger. I can't be Killmonger. Now Killmonger's back. He went crazy. In the dream. <laughs> He rocked. Look, I just made him think. Maybe I did want maybe to be killed. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe like the homie, Killmonger's homie. Ah. <laughs> Come in, coach. <laughs> maybe. Come in, coach. Right, let's get to, let's let's get to the shit, man. Yeah. What's up? Let's, let's get, get the creed, man. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> bro. In in the one, I said, okay, he's coming. Mm. In the two. Mm -hmm. You sat in that hospital bed and you shook me up. Mm. I said, he's here. Mm. In three, I said, he's out of control. <laughs> <laughs> and you cheated, too. What you talking you, about? The he's, little girl is a cheat. You're <laughs> out of control. You're a, it's a cheat code. I said, oh, you, oh my you're, God. You're out of your mind. You're out of control. <laughs> and he must be stopped. He must be stopped. <laughs> I'm sitting like this. I hate him. Oh, that's what you doing? I'm in there doing this. Look. Ah! <laughs> ah! I, I think that's how I sound. Hey. Whatever. <laughs> Bro. I watch I watch I watch Creed 3. Yeah. And yeah. I was so proud of you. Very proud on so many mm -hmm. levels. I watched that entire movie with a smile. On my face, even if, even when I was emotional, I still had a smile on my face. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was 
It was a and I'm sitting next to Kevin Gates. Okay, okay. <laughs> and and when I say enjoying himself, yeah, it was loves it. I, I'm loves talking it, like man. that. See, that's where it go right there. That's a soldier. You feel me? You gotta understand what's going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all were engaged the whole oh, time. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I say at the time of his life, I love it. It's a great movie. I it love was, it, man. bro. It was, it was, it was amazing. And it was more growth. Yeah. You the director? Man, it's crazy. You the star? Yeah. Give me give me the process, real quick, mm-hmm. of you learning sign language. Oh, so like I was learning sign language while I was working out in pre production too. So like one of the things, me and Bianca, once I got the, the me and uh, Tessa, when I got the new script, I was like, man, we should have just kept up with it from uh, Creed too. We would have been way more fluent right, right now. We would have mm-hmm. been great, you know what I'm saying? But but we we put ourselves on a you know a fast track to kind of like learn it uh, while while I was working out. So like while I was working out, I, I would work out, you know, have production meetings, script meetings, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, we're building the thing. But then I'll just go off to the side for a little bit, do an hour a day, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? With mm-hmm. uh, with my coach. And we would, uh, you know, go through the basics. You know what I'm saying? He would kind of like, you know, he would sign. I would, you know, you know, mimic the sign, and then he'll test me on those like four or five signs. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Every like 15 minutes or so, and then we would like, you know, recap that entire hour, and I would try to go off memory and do that. And then the next day, they'll recap half of what we did the day before, et cetera, et cetera, and kind of just stair, stair step me to uh, uh, until I didn't have any more time left. Mm-hmm. But uh, honestly, on the day. I'm a real visual person. I'm a visual learner, so I, I could I could I could pick up on signs pretty quickly, and then register it, digest it, and then and then go go do what I got to do. That was that was a very special yeah. part of the movie. Thank Chico. you. And and and, very and, special. and and it was like it was it was we we we. we it was a natural evolution of things. Of the course. first yep. movie, yep. you know, Adonis meets the love of his life. You know what I'm saying? She has progressive hearing loss. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. um, we don't know what where that where that's going. Cool. Second film, we pick up. He's starting a family of his own. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, we realize that the daughter yeah. can, can or can't she? You know, yeah. the parents are number one concern. You know, a healthy baby. You know what I'm saying? It, it, can he get it passed down? Does she have it or not? Mm-hmm. The heartbreak of you know within you know internally between Adonis is okay. Damn, now what? How am I going to move forward with this? Right. And the questions around that, and it was played beautifully by you know Rocky and, and Adonis. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Really trying to figure out like what manhood is and like what parenthood is all about. You know, cool, we got that. The third film, I don't have to talk about it. We're already a yeah. fully ASL family. Right. You know, yeah. the house is already tricked out. Mm-hmm. Adonis has clearly invested time to make sure and money to make sure his daughter is going to get all the things that he never got. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And really trying to, like, you know, make her life a lot better and comfortable, et cetera, et cetera, and building all the things and blah, 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 whatever. So in this movie, it was really important, like, to just normalize in a way, you know, that it really felt inclusive. And it wasn't mm-hmm. about the audience or anybody having sympathy for her. No. It's like, no, no, it's the empathy, yeah. you know, of Understanding, yeah, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? She's a what she needs. She, yeah. She's fearless. What's her name star. in real life? Cause, cause, Mila. Mila um, Davis Kent. Mila. Superstar. Superstar. Amazing. Superstar. Superstar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, like one hundred percent, so talented, and and uh, I learned so much from her. So just and then she encouraged me, like, look, Mike, even if you don't know exactly the sign gesture, your body language is signing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the deaf community appreciates that so much. By not just talking to them or like getting frustrated, no gesture, like try, like yeah. and that's something for us that you know the hearing. We're definitely, you know, you know we're ignorant in a lot of ways. For sure. But but <clears throat> but and and but just getting out of your own, get it out of our own head and being like, oh, I can't do this. I'm gonna feel stupid. Da, 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 da. No, just try. Yeah. And I think it'll make a big difference. It'll my big my difference. last piece. You go ahead. Go ahead. No, I mean, listen. And Jonathan Majors. I mean, my, you listen. Know. My last. <laughs> listen. Let me tell you something. Hey, man. Listen. What's up? Listen. What's up? Yeah. Because I act a little bit. Um, if, like if you go TV one, get and out BT, of here, man. It's, it's, it's and, and not like, the time. And like Lifetime, it's not the time. Ooh, not the time. I'm like Michael B. Over, okay. Um, <laughs> Michael G. I'm like Michael G. <laughs> Michael G. Ford. Michael T. <laughs> <laughs> Michael T. <laughs> anyway, um, you guys were having. So many conversations yep. outside of the script. Like 
just within the physicality of how you guys were dealing with each other Mm -hmm. from eye contact to no eye contact to when I say it was crazy, Mm -hmm. it was like y'all had done movies before. Like you guys had been synced before in other moments to build to, cause the build up that kind of chemistry is, is really crazy. And it's rare. It's rare. Yeah, it's rare. And that undercurrent that y'all were carrying Mm -hmm. along with what was being said in the environment, when I, it was incredible. Thank you, yeah. man. No, nah, he he he's a, he's a special talent. You yeah. know what I mean. He's a kindred spirit too. You know what I'm saying. He you, immediately he would feel like one of us, like the one, like a brother for sure. Um, and and, and he his he so he has so much depth to him mm-hmm. and complexities that just played perfectly. You know, in the film that we needed from our antagonist. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying to 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 counter. To counterbalance are equally as complex and the depth of Adonis, yeah. you know, of our hero. Mm-hmm. So, so, so he played that perfectly. He was a workhorse. He, you know, he was willing to get into shape. He was sacrificed. You know, what I'm saying his, you know, you know, just time, just to really put it in and take this shit seriously. Learning the choreography, learning a certain style. You know, uh, embodying, you know, Damien as a character. You know, what I'm saying coming from Crenshaw, just being like just a LA, a LA story. And and it, and it worked, man. It really worked. And then the boxing stuff just really like um, fell into place. And mm-hmm. that was something that I probably daydreamed the most about, from like just over the course of the entire trilogy. Yeah, just yeah. like how would I do the fights if I ever had an opportunity to do them? Mm-hmm. And like that was something that I really like said, "Fuck it, we just want to swing for the fences, you know, nonstop." Which you we'll, we'll you go went for the fences. Nah, yeah, special yeah. movie, bro. You went for the fences. Yeah, special yeah, movie. Appreciate it. And then, so, you know, so why is he here? <clears throat> so why is he here? I mean, this is the R and B money. Why is podcast, he here? Well, what's the, okay, let's do it. Yeah. So hold Did on. Did you drink your tea? <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, I'm here to. Uh, me, me, me. Whoa, whoa, get, whoa. Ah, no, Find see, no, nah, it no. <laughs> Lord wanted to keep me humble. It's not what I did. <laughs> where you going with the cheese? I don't know where he's going. Where you going with this thing? Where you going? It was a little bit like, it was a little cheers in that, a little bit. I heard it's, cheers a little bit. It's a lot of bar action. It's, it's okay, a lot of bar yeah. action. I'm Top gonna, five. Yeah. Don't look at me Your like top that. five. <laughs> Michael T. Looking at you. Is it Michael, top Michael T or Michael five. <laughs> Your top five. R&B singers. Yes. Yeah. R&B songs. <laughs> yeah. Michael B. Michael B's top five. Top five. <laughs> your, your top five. Take, take, yeah. take, 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 it's take, five. Five. take it, take it, take it, take it, yeah, it's clearly yeah. auditioning for my top five right now, five. Michael B, take, take, top five, top All right, all of five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, 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 R&B singers. I'm going <clears throat> Marvin Gaye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta go Marvin Gaye. I'm going Usher. This is no particular order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Usher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going So if he's the king of pop, is that considered for R&B? Hey, man, you Michael, Michael Jackson. 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 Michael Ended out right. Luther? Ended that thing out right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lufa. Lufa. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, honorable mention, yeah. Tank's going in there. Huh? Got to. I said, honorable mention, Tank's going in there. He a six man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, got, I got a, you know. Michael, listen, T, Michael T. Jordan. I, I don't mind man. coming off the bench. I'm just saying. Now, but that's starting man, five. that's a cold start five. Yeah. So now we're going to go to the songs. Top five R&B songs, Which my brother. Which playlist? Hmm? Hmm? I know you got something on the playlist. 
You know, you know, you, you, you get busy, get physical. Yeah, get, huh? grab your phone, grab your mm-hmm. phone, cause you know what I mean. You know, let me, let me see what, what you got. Gotta put, yeah. You gotta put something over the lady. <laughs> I, don't see, I, I don't hope see. it ain't funny. right now no. or all time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it could be right now. This show is your work. Lady, 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 lady D. Let me see what I got on my uh. What I'ma play man. when the lady D. Late night drive. Don't you know what I'm saying? When I go for my drive, cause I love driving. Yeah, you feel me? I got ooh, cranes in the sky, Solange. Yeah. Goes. Yeah. yeah. It goes. Come on, Solange. Come it on. Goes. I'm going. I'm going Janae, summer 2020. Yes. Mm. Yes. Love Janae. Black and Asians. Mm. We, stick, we stick together. <laughs> That's wrong with you. Said, Team. <laughs> I'm doing. Ooh. Naomi Sharon Hills. Mm. Gallant Bone and Tissue. You heard of Gallant? Yes. I'm hitting some. I'm, I, I, I can't go. To, everybody says the nah, originals nah, and the hits nah, all the time. Nah, nah. I, I gotta go off. I gotta go off. You, I gotta go off. You, you know what I'm saying? Is, yeah. Ohio player, sweet sticky thing. Oh, okay. Is really? Yeah, and then yeah. he gonna go there. And then he gonna go, go there. Yeah, I'm just okay. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You out of control. Yeah, yeah, out of control. You must be snob. I'm saying. <laughs> all right. I like that okay? too. You that this is. You've you've I, you've you've made me. I gotta go do some homework. We got we got one more thing. One more thing for you. We're going to let you out the door. <clears throat> Where you going? Yeah, yeah. You've been associated with a <laughs> lot of great people. Yeah. Uh-huh. But in this segment, <laughs> you better not. I ain't saying no names. 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 Who you is? Who you is? What you did? Don't say shit. I ain't saying no names. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm sorry it took me so long to get here. I got to do this again. <laughs> we, we, we can just vibe You're invited back. You have a standing invitation. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anytime. So listen. Right now, mm-hmm. you give us a story. Funny or fucked up. Mm-hmm. Or funny and fucked up. Mm-hmm. Okay. The only rule to the game. You can't say no name. Is you can't say no name. No name. No this no is this. Michael B. Wakanda. Creed. Wire. Fruit. Fruitville Station, Jordan. Whoa. I ain't saying no names. Mm-hmm. Man, I got stories. Mm. I, now I got to figure out how to tell these stories without no names. Mm. Okay. Let me see. What do I got for y'all? It was Frank. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bobby. Uh, Bobby. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. What's a good one? Um. Yeah, my mind goes, yeah, this is the shit. <laughs> y'all okay with this? <laughs> y'all, y'all okay with this question? Uh, listen, let me think. Uh, you know I'm, I'm no, I disruptive. Know. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather y'all give me like a, 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 a city. Whoa. Oh. And, 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 and then let me, uh, and then let Miami. me like. Re- Miami. Le- okay. Okay. It's getting warm. It's getting, it's getting warm. warm. Uh, so I'm down in Miami. Mm. You know, I usually stay at a particular hotel. Yeah. And um, I'm promoting the film. So I'm only down there for a little bit of time. You know, you hit, you know, certain outlets, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's Television, Telemundo, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you, you bounce around, you do your press or whatever. And you go back to the hotel, and then that's when you do the rest of the press. You know what I'm saying? Press junkies, so, so cool, cool. So, had my day of press. I didn't eat that much that day because I woke up, it was a little late, you know what I'm saying? Uh, from the night before, which is it's, we're in Miami, Miami, so there's not a lot of sleep going. Miami. You know, not, needles. It's it's a club club, club, you know mm-hmm. so, yeah. liquid IVs are helpful, yeah. 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 coconut yeah. water is top, yeah. top tier, yeah. top tier, yeah. Yeah. rehydration, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, okay. Drip so next day, don't eat that much. So don't eat that much. Um, a couple of my other co-stars don't eat as, as much as uh, either. So nobody's really eating a lot. A lot of tea, chunky the voice together, talking a lot. So we leave the hotel and we go to uh, we go to dinner. And at this point, you know, 
order appetizer, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, we're really drinking. We're really we're drinking a lot. You know, alcohol is flowing. So it's a lot of drinks. Not a lot of food. I repeat. We haven't, <laughs> we haven't, we haven't, we haven't we didn't eat a lot the last couple of days. So uh, we proceed to have a good time. Take a little, little nibble here, a little this, a little that. You know what I'm saying? Tasting a little bit. Never eat, I didn't eat a full meal. Cool. Great. Right this time, I'm, I'm a little lit. Um, a couple other people that I'm with, they they lit too. Mm-hmm. A little bit more lit, more lit than I am. I'm usually the guy that like you can't tell is like really drunk, but I'm but I'm but I'm, I'm, I'm nice. I'm, I'm there. I'm all the way there. Mm-hmm. It looks like the lights are on. Ain't nobody home. Right. All right. A couple other people, a little bit more visibly messed up. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me, let me, let me, let me help these people get to where, you know, where we're going, you know what I'm saying, safely. So I'm in the middle of like, you know, trying to, you know, help people get to where they gotta go, et cetera, et cetera. We run across some ladies. All right. This is Miami. You know what I'm saying? We're outside, you know what I'm saying? Other the the venue in which we're getting ready to go into. And some ladies that are there, they might have recognized maybe a couple of us or whatever the case may be. All right. They wanted to they roll to in. Yeah, so and we all roll in. Yeah, yeah. All access. So we're in this particular spot. More drinks are coming. A certain group of ladies are there. Um, one of the people that are there starts not look so good. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know, they stumbling a little bit. You know, balance look a little off. All right, cool. And I'm like, hey, yo, think it might be good. You probably should go back. You know what I'm saying? To to, to where we came from. You know what I'm saying? Where we where we reside at. You know what I'm saying? I think it's I think it's I think it's done. You know, we gotta get up in the morning, we gotta leave. Like, yeah. This is it. We did it. We yeah. did it, guys. We had a great time. Yeah. It was a great time. Cool. So he didn't want to go. So he didn't want to leave. So he proceeded to uh, to grab the bottle from a lady that was with us. And he grabbed it like so like he grabbed the bottle with like such force. That he he uh, he cracked his own like <laughs> face with it, right? Like, bah! And he just kind of like kept drinking. I I saw it vividly, so I was like, oh shit! I was like, oh man! Like that that was like that was like it was you know it was a, it was a big bottle. You feel me? Like that? I know what that that that's that's hurtful. That yeah. that's not that doesn't feel good. Yeah. But he kept drinking like it was nothing. So everything was cool. Blah 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 blah. blah. Great, great. So we had the rest of the night. Had a good time. Blah 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 blah. Get back in the car. Cool. Get back to the hotel. Cool. I'm skipping over a lot of things, but that's not important to the story. Mm-mm. Got it. Next morning, wake up. My phone is like, what the fuck is going on? Hey, what's up? Mm, FaceTime. Mm. Yo, what up? What's going on? Oh, shit. What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, Mike, tell me what happened. I don't, what, no, <laughs> no, you Mike good. What, you happened? what happened? What's, go, what's, what's going on? You all right? Yo. Oh. We, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. You know, you, if he was calling the person that was supposed to calm him down and like act like it you wasn't as bad, I wasn't the one. <laughs> I wasn't the one. I'm fresh. I'm, up, I'm fresh. I'm fresh out of sleep. Hey, yo, you need to. <laughs> you gotta. We gotta call somebody. And, 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 and I don't know if you can get on a plane like that. Like, right. like, like I don't know if they're gonna let us let you on a plane like that. So wow. you might need emergency dentist. You know what I'm saying? Some stitches. You feel me? Oh, it, it was the it was the whole situation, and that, that was. Uh, that was, was a night in Miami. That's wow. the story I'm not saying no names. Wow. I did a good job. There was a couple times I almost fucked up. Yeah. But I, I, I did a good job. Yeah. Did a good job. This is the moral of the story is uh-huh. don't drink with Michael B. Jordan. Without eating. Without eating. Yeah. Without eating. Without eating. Yeah. yeah. Because and you want to try to match my shit. And like, don't, don't match my shit. And I, I, if you're looking for, you're looking to be consoled. Consoled or comfort. Don't him. call. Don't 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 don't. don't, don't, don't. No, I'm, I'm gonna tell it to you real. You not. Yeah, you bust your shit. You bust your shit. You bust your shit. It's it's, it's a, it was it was yeah it was. Mm-hmm. Wow. I have many nights in Miami of those kind that I don't really remember. Yeah, you know. Just I just thank the Lord I woke up in the hotel I checked in. That's crazy. Not me. I don't, I don't live like that. Just, what anymore? Ever. What you mean? I don't live like that. I always know where I'm gonna wake up at. Say it again. Ever. Okay. You you I know mean, me a long time. You ain't never seen me get 
Ain't nobody had to. I had no, to hold no you, shoulders to you walk hold, out of You nothing. hold your shit very well, too, though. No, 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 no. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. He don't do what we talking about, <laughs> but he gets extremely violent. Okay, gotcha. That's his problem. Wrap it up. Wrap is that what it is? Wrap it up. Yeah. Wrap it up. Depends on what he's drinking. He's such a no. nice guy. Okay, it doesn't that's matter. He's a nice guy. Oh, he's like, he's like, he walk in, where the hell he at? <laughs> <laughs> These niggas, and then it, it just goes from there. It goes from there. It goes from us having a great time to him telling Steph Curry, oh, hey, man. tell that nigga Steph Curry, take a picture with us if he want to be safe out here. <laughs> I said, why do I have to tell him? Why do I have hey, to ask man. him? If you want to be safe out here. Why, you, I, why does it have to be the message for me? <laughs> why do I Why do I got to tell the man yeah, that? I still took the picture with him. But that's what my point is. <laughs> Pictures on my face. <laughs> Shout out to Steph Curry. Shout out to Steph Curry, guy. man. That's not how I relate to Memphis. So I, just, I said, we take a picture with his brother? Absolutely. Gross, Very nice. Nice, but um, Mike B., my brother. Oh, man. You're awesome, brother. Yeah, and that's just Likewise, not that's man. just not you know friends talking. That's that's um you know I'm gonna pull myself outside of that outside looking in, man. Amazing brother, man. Thank You've you. You've done amazing work. Um, um, and your your ledger's clean, man. And keep it that way, brother. I shall. You represent man. well, my guy. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. This Mike. is the R&B Money Podcast. Michael B. Jordan. And uh, <laughs> you say that? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. What else can I say, man? Yeah. Greatness in the building. The Michael B. Jordan.